Hi, my name is Albert Bach, and on behalf of my co-author, Jeffrey Goad, I would like to present the abstract to our review in the Journal of Integrated Pharmacy Research and Practice titled, The Role of Community Pharmacy-Based Vaccination in the USA, Current Practice and Future Directions. Thank you. In the U.S., it is estimated that 40,000 to 50,000 adults die each year from vaccine-preventable diseases, and the cost of treating these vaccine-preventable diseases costs the healthcare system $10 billion each year. This situation is not aided by the fact that adult vaccination rates for routinely recommended vaccines in the U.S. are low and well below the projected Healthy People 2020 targets. The underutilization of widely available vaccines has created an opportunity for pharmacists to play a role in improving immunization rates and thus advancing public health. With 93% of Americans living within five miles of community pharmacy, extended hours, reduced costs, and convenience, community pharmacy-based vaccination services have increased the number of immunization providers and the number of sites where patients can receive immunizations. It is thus important to understand the current role of the community pharmacy-based immunization programs in the U.S. to identify opportunities and challenges for improving the public health infrastructure to deliver vaccinations. In many U.S. states, Pharmacy Practice Acts include statements that give pharmacists the authority to administer medication. In most states with this authority, it is interpreted broadly as administration by any route. As states pass new laws, more specific language, such as limitations to recipient ages and vaccines, are being added. Currently, all 50 states in the U.S., including Washington, D.C., and Puerto Rico, allow pharmacists to administer vaccinations. However, among states, the requirements needed for a pharmacist to vaccinate, minimum age limit, and type of vaccines vary. The in-house model where community pharmacies use their immunization trained staff pharmacists to carry out the vaccine administration services within their own pharmacy is the most common method in the U.S. The delivery and workflow of an in-house service varies from pharmacy to pharmacy and is provided by a walk-in or appointment basis or a combination of both. To ensure an effective, safe, and efficient process, it is important for pharmacists to be familiar with requirements for operating an immunization service. Key issues include identifying the activities that are allowed and required when administering immunizations in your state, designating physical space for a semi-private patient care area, planning your program offerings, appropriate management of vaccines, emergency response preparedness, addressing reimbursement and compensation, and having a plan to stay up to date. Current challenges in this area are reimbursements. For community pharmacy-based vaccination services, a limited number of commercial and governmental health plans offer patients coverage for receiving vaccinations from a pharmacy. And even when provided, they do not always cover all recommended vaccines. There are also barriers in technology that exist in this setting, from a lack of shared patient record systems to inadequate pharmacy information management systems that provide patient-specific immunization reporting, notifications, and scheduling of patients. Community pharmacies have made tremendous strides over the last 20 years to improve immunization rates, and once some of these challenges are overcome, will become the most trusted and used location for vaccination in the future.